Hey, I'm Joe from MakeUseOf.com. Today, I want to show you this project. It's a simple buzz wire game. The player has to pass the loop around the course without letting the two touch. Visit the link in the description below for the full tutorial where I show you how to make this from scratch. I cover bending the wire, building the case, making the handle and wiring it all together to the Arduino and 7 seconds. Hi, I'm Ian Buckley and you're watching MakeUseOf.com. Today we're showing you how to make a custom controller for your Unity project with an Arduino and some basic components. We'll also go over setting up the Arduino, getting the Unitduino asset from the asset store and some simple coding and work in the Unity editor in order to make a game so you can test your controller. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more giveaways and tutorials from all of us here at MakeUseOf.com. Hi, my name's Ian Buckley and you are watching MakeUseOf.com. Today we're going to make a simple locking mechanism using a 12 volt solenoid, an RFID module, uh, this one is the RC522, you can get these off eBay or AliExpress for about a dollar, they're very cheap. Uh, and we're also going to use an Arduino Uno and a few simple components. Uh, these machines work by using RFID tags, you've probably used something similar to this at some point in your life. Uh, the idea being that when it gets close to the reader, the tag is red, and if it is the correct tag, the one you've specified, it will give access. So right now, if I hold this tag down, I have access, so I can open the lock. And after 10 seconds, when the door is closed again, it will lock itself automatically. Uh, this system also allows you to add and take away tags. So if I hold the MasterCard up, it flashes to show that we want to hold something up. So let's hold this tag up against it once again. And it flashes to say it has been read. We swipe this card again to go out of the read or write mode, and now the same tag when I hold it down. Lucky, lucky, lucky! Come on, lucky! Come here, lucky! Come here! <gasps> what did you do? Hi, I'm Andre Infante with MakeUseOf.com, and this is our Arduino Mood Lamp project. As you can see, this is a pretty simple project. You just hook it up to USB, and uh, it uses a few wires, a few resistors, and an RGB LED to create a uh, pulsing pattern of colors. If I turn the light off, you can see it a little bit better. Uh, check out the article for more information on how to build one of these. Uh, thanks for watching.
the, the power supply is on and our sensor value is below uh, that 450 volt threshold so our fan is is currently off and uh, if I take the soldering iron I'll touch it a little bit and you'll see it kicks in at that 10% duty cycle which is enough to actually start the fan so let's go ahead and do that kicks in right there uh, barely enough to start the fan so we might have to start at a higher percent duty cycle and it starts to ramp up there you can hear it speeding up still going you can hear that ringing and there it goes so you cannot hear the ringing anymore so that's means it's not really pulsed with modulating it's at a hundred percent duty cycle so the fan is is all the way on or it's at a hundred percent duty cycle and so that is the upper limit that's that 800 Hey guys, I am Nick and welcome to Educate TV, a channel that is all about do-it-yourself electronics projects with Arduino, Raspberry Pi, ESP8266 and other popular boards. In this video we are going to build an Arduino powered game. It is the classic Pong game. I am now playing against the computer controlling the green paddle. Each time a player scores, the score is displayed on the screen. The first player to reach 8 points wins. It is a fun project to build and as you are going to find out, it won't take you more than 10 minutes to build it. Let's start. The parts needed in order to build this project are the following. Controller. This is a, a high powered LED but it only has a, a range of about 40 degrees. So it needs to be pointed actually at the device. And then, press the playback button. And we should see, and you can see I'm not touching the remote, so it's recorded all of those signals and it's now playing them back. And it will play back one every second. I think I also recorded one for... Uh, Hi guys, I'm James Bruce with MakeUseOf.com and in this week's DIY tutorial we are making a DIY Ambilight which you can see behind me here, the cheapest, easiest DIY Ambilight around. The total cost is around $60 and you'll need this strip of 5 meters of uh, individually addressable RGB LEDs, it's really simple. Uh, you also need a computer to drive the display, a power supply unit, and an Arduino. Now you can buy a commercial kit from somewhere like Adafruit for the same price, but it only comes with 25 LEDs. Hello, I'm James Bruce with MakeUseOf.com and this week's DIY project is a giant LED pixel display. Apart from just looking awesome, we can also program it to display useful data too, like notifications or stock prices, but I'll be writing more in depth on that at a later date. For now, it's really just about making the display itself. I will, however, briefly mention that this is currently running a bit of software called Gladiator by SolderLab.de which is a free but professional grade LED matrix control software that runs in Java and can control up to 512 pixels from an Arduino. It works a bit like a DJ mixer but for pixel animation so you have a left and a right pattern and you can mix between the two with a fader. You can even load in GIF animations if you like. Anyhow, how this was constructed. First, I bought two reels of 5 meter long WS2812B LED Neo pixels. These are about $35 each from China and I didn't use all of them so there's some left for future projects. I then cut up those strips into lengths of 15 LEDs each 
and glued them onto the back panel of a 50 centimeter square